Hi babies, welcome back. It's Anne and today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for your start with your Xiaomi Redmi Note 12 Pro. First of all, thank you to MySweep for providing us with this phone today. And we get right to it. The first thing you can do is the adaptive brightness. So if you go to your drop down menu, you have this bar where you can set your brightness. And if we go to our settings and then go to display, we have the brightness level and we can set the same thing here with a bar and we can set it to adaptive brightness um, and then the screen well decides for itself what kind of brightness it needs for your surrounding the next thing we can do is we can block unknown numbers and spam numbers um, so you don't get disturbed by them for that we need to go to our phone icon go to the three little dots go to settings and then go to call id and spam turn that on and then you can also go to block numbers and block the unknown and you can also add a number next thing you can do is the automatic screen rotation when we go to our drop down menu and swipe to our left we have the lock orientation it's on right now if we turn that off and go to our play store for example then our screen will shift sideways if we turn it sideways and if we turn that on again and go back then our screen will shift sideways next thing you can do is to turn on the dark mode that will give you a cheek appearance it will save you some battery and it's also nice for your eyes if you're like under low light conditions so for that you can go to your drop down menu and turn on the dark mode here in general but you can also set some dark mode settings when you go to your settings go to display then you have your dark mode light mode here and you can say schedule and then say when you want it to turn on or off or you say sunset to sunrise next thing you can do is the location you can turn that on or off if you go to our drop down menu again and then swipe to your left two times we have the location it's on right now we can turn that off if we don't need it um, it drains your battery a bit because um, your phone is scanning for your location the whole time. So you can turn that off if you like um, and you can also turn it on if you need that there. Next thing is a 5G. So if your provider and your phone support 5G, you are able to, well, receive 5G. If you live in an area though where you can't receive 5G, then it might be useful to turn that off we need to go to settings and then to SIM card mobile networks. Click on your provider, preferred network type. We have 2G, 3G and LTE right now. If you have 5G but live in an area where you can't receive it, you might want to turn that off. It drains your battery a bit when your phone is scanning for 5G the whole time. Next thing we can do is the screenshot and we have several options for that here. So the first and probably most common one is to press the volume down and the power and on off button at the same time. So we'll do that and then we make a screenshot. We can also go to our drop down menu and say screenshot. We can also use three fingers and slide down our screen and if we put three fingers on the screen, then we can make like a partial screenshot, which is also really nice. If we go to our gallery now and go to one of our screenshots, if we click on this little symbol here, we can go ahead and, well, put fillers on it, crop it. Next tip is the fingerprint and we will go to settings and then go to password and security fingerprint unlock put in your pin next and then we say add fingerprint need to put in our pin again and now we can say add your finger put your finger on the on and off button which is also a fingerprint sensor add face data no not now and then we can rename our finger here. I will just keep it at that and we say done. So now we can go back, lock our phone and then put our finger there and then our phone is unlocked. Next tip is to organize your phone a bit so you can create app folders. And for that, you need to press and hold one app and drag it on top of another one. You can do that with as many apps as you like or until your phone says stop. We can also name our folder here and then we have this app we can 
move that around as well. And if we want an app out of this folder, again, we just press and hold and drag it out of the folder. We'll do the same with the last app here. And if there's no app left, then the folder disappears by itself. So that were tips and tricks for your store with your Xiaomi Redmi Note 12 Pro. Hope you liked it. Hope it helped. If so, thumbs up, share and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.